it's Michelle how are you thank you so much for joining me today for a really fun tag video so I was watching one of the girls that I watch on a regular basis her name is Meg from Soul and Riot 182 I don't know if you know who she is but you should check out her channel she's great she's very down to earth loves makeup like we all do and I love watching her anyways she did this this sweater tag video the other day and it came up on my feed and I was like oh that, that looks interesting so I watched it and what it is it's just a tag video all about fall and kind of the fall favorites so I thought what a better way to get myself in the mood for fall than to go through some of these questions and share my answers with you now here in Texas it is just starting to get cool this morning it was like 60 degrees which is pretty much heaven to me and so I'm trying to you know start bringing out some of my long sleeve things I don't know that we're quite ready for sweaters yet but I'm thinking positive I'm sure it's just around the corner so really getting excited about fall and just love this time of year um, as you know you know it's one of my most favorite times of year so I'm really really excited about just kind of everything that's kind of in the air and, and things that are happening so Let's go ahead and get into the questions. I hope you enjoy. Number one, what is your favorite candle scent? So I think overall for me, my favorite candle scent is cinnamon by far. I, you know, for obvious reasons, of course, I love cinnamon, but I think probably that really just gets me in the mood for the holidays. Just, it just, the scent of cinnamon is so spicy and warm and cozy and that's usually when I use candles for, you know, for in my house. I don't usually use candles in the summertime. So when I finally do start breaking out the candles, it's during the fall and the, the scent of cinnamon just really kind of gets me in the mood. Number two, coffee, tea, or hot chocolate? So I don't know, all three. <laughs> I love all three. I love coffee in the morning. I love hot tea. Um, I like hot tea like in the evening, kind of, you know, just as you're watching TV, just something to chill out with. But of course, I love hot chocolate too. My most favorite hot chocolate drink is um, the salted, I think it's salted hot chocolate at Starbucks. Um, maybe it's salted caramel hot chocolate. I don't know. They they had it last year. I don't know if they have it this year. I haven't bought it yet, but that is so good. The salt that they use on it. Oh, the salt and the sweet, so good. Anyway, so I guess if I had to pick one, I would probably say coffee. I can't live without coffee. Number three, what's the best fall memory that you have? And gosh, this is a really hard one because um, I, I have so many. I think kind of uh, one of the special traditions that we have recently done probably over the last five or six years is take our kids over to a carnival kind of usually around the Halloween time we have a huge church right up our street um, that they have huge like a huge Halloween carnival and every year they have it it's it's not necessarily on Halloween night but it's like right around Halloween time and they bring in these huge like carnival rides and games and they give away tons of candy and they have you know all the good fair stuff so I think taking my kids um, to this carnival every year is probably one of my most favorite things to do in the fall and we we've, we've we have so many great memories from all the different years past and the kids look forward to this every year so I would I would probably say that Number four, which makeup trend do you prefer? Dark lips or winged liner? Well, that's definitely easy for me. It is dark lips all the way. I am not a winged, winged eyeliner girl at all. I cannot do a winged eyeliner to save my life. I, I, think, I think I could try, but every time I've tried in the past, I end up looking like a complete fool. So not a winged eyeliner girl, love me some lipstick though. Okay, number five, best fragrance for fall. So, hmm, this is kind of hard because I don't have a lot of different fragrances, but when I do um, wear fragrance, I would have to say the Elizabeth and James Nirvana, and it's like the black one and then the white one. Um, probably those because those are kind of deep dark musky scents and that's kind of what again what I like to wear during the the fall um I also like 
There's the uh, the Donna Karen Cashmere Mist, which I love. I have the deodorant and I have the perfume as well. And again, it's kind of a dark, kind of sultry scent. So I would probably say those two. Number six, favorite Thanksgiving food. So I like it all, obviously. My most favorite Thanksgiving food is probably green bean casserole. Like I love green bean casserole. <laughs> You know, for whatever reason, I only eat it at Thanksgiving time. I mean, green beans, you can eat any time of the year. But for whatever reason, green bean casserole is just something that I love to make. And I, it's because it's easy. I don't cook. I don't bake. But that is so easy to do. And it's so good. So, you know, just combined with the turkey and the mashed potatoes. Oh, it's so good. I'm getting excited for Thanksgiving dinner. Number seven, what is autumn weather like where you live? So as I mentioned, I live in the Dallas area and it's pretty warm, I would say, up until about November. So when I mean warm, I mean, you know, 70s, 80s, low 90s. Um, it's what, kind of like the 1st of October and, and the temperatures are starting to drop. So I would say, you know, in the morning, it like it's like 60 uh, afternoons it's probably 75 78 80 somewhere around there and then it doesn't really start getting cold cold until probably mid-December mid to late December it starts getting cold but um, overall the weather is perfect here because you don't need the heavy sweaters and the jackets and uh, you know just going outside with a with a great long sleeve shirt or you know just like a, a windbreaker or whatever that's all you need and that's what I love Number eight, most worn sweater. So um, black, of course. <laughs> I have this black sweater that I've had for probably the last three years. And it's just a basic black kind of cardigan jacket sweater. And it's just great to throw over anything that I have. You can dress it up. You can dress it down. You can go, you know, with t-shirt and leggings. You can wear it over a really nice suit. Um, it's just, it kind of goes with everything. I'll go ahead and insert a picture so you can see what it looks like. But it's just a really basic um, black sweater. It's a great weight. It's not too heavy, not too light. Uh, and and it, it looks great. So I would say that one. Number nine, must have nail polish for the fall. So, you know, I like darker colors, although don't look at my hands today, um, but I really like wearing darker colors on my lips and my nails generally for, um, for the fall season. And I picked this up last year, or maybe it was earlier this year, I don't remember. This is the Wet n Wild One Step Wonder Gel, and this is in the color um, Under My Plum. I actually had this on a couple weeks ago, and I love it. I'm really I think once I'm done with these, I'm going to probably put this one back on. It's so pretty. It's like a really nice, deep, burgundy color. Looks really great with everything. Just kind of gets you in the mood for, for fall. So um, I really like this one. I suggest it. It's like, what, 3 or $4? Good stuff. Number 10, <laughs> football games or jumping in leaf piles? Um, neither. I am not a football person at all. I'm not into sports. My husband, on the other hand, is completely opposite. He is obsessed with football. And um, I just, I don't get it. The Dallas Cowboys are huge here in Texas where I live. There, There's a new training facility that just opened up probably three miles from my house. It's like, I think, more expensive than the actual Cowboys stadium. Uh, was and it's just it's it's part of the school district here, too So um, my kids will really benefit from it. But anyways, <laughs> I like the Cowboys for that But other than that, I'm not a football person at all um, Generally when my husband's watching football I go shopping uh, and then jumping in a leaf pile Yeah, no, that doesn't sound like fun for me either. I'm not an outdoorsy girl. I'm like ew bugs gross uh, you know, I guess if I had to choose one, I would say the leaf piles. I would just kind of drag my kids and say, let's go jump in and have fun. But uh, yeah, neither one of those really appealed to me. Number 11, skinny jeans or leggings. <sighs> Gosh, why do you have to choose one? I mean, I would say both if you could, but probably skinny jeans. That generally works for me and that's usually what I wear. Number 12, combat boots or Uggs. <sighs> This one is easy. Combat boots for sure. I am not an Uggs girl. I've never liked Uggs. I don't care how comfortable they are. They are just the most 
unappealing shoe to me. And I'm sorry if I'm offending anyone. I'm, I know they're comfy. My daughter, I buy her a new pair every year. I mean, we get, I get it. I just don't personally like them. Combat boots are, I'm like, yeah, that's, I love the whole combat style. I've always kind of been that, you know, underground punk rocker type girl, you know, when I was growing up and that type of thing. But again, if I had to pick one, combat boots all the way. Number 13, is pumpkin spice worth all the hype? So, you know, this is so funny because pumpkin spice really seems to have kind of just really hit its hype over the last couple of years. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I walked into Target the other day and there's pumpkin spice Cheetos and pumpkin spice this and pumpkin spice that and I'm like really enough with the pumpkin spice I mean, I like pumpkin spice. I like it in small doses. I do like a pumpkin spice from uh, From Starbucks every now and then but it's not something I have to have um, I don't know. So I would probably say no not for me. I'm not a pumpkin spice Girl to the to the extent everyone else seems to be but I do like it Number 14, favorite fall TV show. Um, you know, I don't watch a whole lot of TV. Uh, what we do watch, we usually watch on Netflix or, you know, online. Um, we, we have been watching The Strain. I don't know if you guys watch that. Um, that just started up in the, in the fall. <sighs> That's a hard one. Uh, I can't really think of one. I, again, I don't watch a whole lot of TV. When I do have time to kind of relax and unwind, I'm usually watching YouTube videos while my husband's flipping the channels. But um, not a big TV person. Last one, number 15. What song really gets you in the fall mood? And this, I, I heard Meg answer and I'm like, fall song? I don't know. I, 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 again, I would kind of have to maybe pair it with, with some Halloween horror movies. I mean, the only thing that, that comes to me right now is the whole the Jason from Friday the 13th um, or that Halloween uh, song that always plays from the Halloween movie. I actually have it as my ringtone on my phone. Um, but song, fall song, I don't know. That's kind of a weird one. So... I'm not going to answer that one. I, I don't know what to say. So this was so fun. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to do this tag video if you would like. Uh, again, it just kind of gets you in the mood for fall. It gets me excited for all the things to come over the next couple weeks. I hope you all have a great fall as well. I hope it's getting nice and cool and you're drinking your pumpkin spice lattes wherever you are. So with that, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you spending time with me. Go ahead and look me up on Snapchat. I'm usually on there every day or two um, and would love to hear from you. So I appreciate you watching. Have a great one and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.